Hello, this is Impact, bringing you all the day's top stories and later in the program, more news in depth, I'm Yalta Hakim. The US Special Envoy for Haiti resigns in protest at what he calls the inhumane deportation of Haitian migrants. The world must adopt an adult approach to tackling global warming, the British Prime Minister's message to the United Nations ahead of COP26. We must show that we are capable of learning and maturing and finally taking responsibility for the destruction we are inflicting. It's time for humanity to grow up. Our well, Boris Johnson's words are winning strategy. We'll hear from an aide to the former UN climate chief also coming up. A custody dispute over a six-year-old boy who was the lone survivor of a cable car crash in Italy comes before the family court in Israel. And one size fits all, EU leaders plan for standardized mobile tablet and headphone charger plugs. That's all coming up here on Impact. We start with some breaking news. The U.S. Special Envoy to Haiti, Ambassador Daniel Foote, has resigned two months after his appointment, announcing, uh, denouncing the Biden administration's deportation of Haitian migrants back to their home country. There have been angry scenes in recent days at Haiti's main airport in Port-au-Prince after the U.S. flew back migrants massing around a Texan border town. Meanwhile, in Colombia, thousands of mainly Haitians are stranded en route to America. These are scenes a short time ago uh, of migrants near the Panama border. For more on this story, uh, Mark LaBelle reports. <laughs> 